Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be creating some AI character data sets with Nunchaku. So Nunchaku is an incredible project that's been created that essentially it's basically quantizing down all the really large models like Quen, Flux, all those types of models so that they run much faster and then they can run on lower VRAM as well. So some of you with, you know, 5090s might say, oh, well, this doesn't apply to me. But for things where you need to generate a lot of images really quickly, so for example, like AI character data sets or something like that, where you just want to iterate fast and get your whole data set, this is an awesome application for Nunchaku. So this will be part one. I'm just gonna generate the data set in this video. And then in part two, we'll go over LoRa training. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss that LoRa training video. Cause after you get your data set created, you're also gonna wanna train a LoRa for it, right? So you can just generate as many images as you want. So first thing to do is grab the Flux Crea workflow from my Patreon and then drag it in. So you should get a pop-up saying that, you know, Nunchaku is not installed. And then you'll go into the custom nodes manager, install missing custom nodes, and you should see the Nunchaku custom nodes there. Now, when I installed the custom node like this, I still got an error that basically was saying that it was missing the Nunchaku uh, Python package. So in order to fix that, there was a .json file on their GitHub for installing the Nunchaku wheel. So I linked that here. It's just right here. And it should run even if you're having issues finding these model loaders. So you just use the exact same settings I have. Version should be latest. There's a new dev version out and I was having some trouble with it in Comfy UI. So I would just use none to start at least for a little bit. I think it was just released like very recently. So use none and then just run this workflow. It'll install the Python package for you. You can restart Comfy UI through here and then you should be good to go to run all these workflows. So the next thing you'll need to do is download the models. In the description down below, I have all these models listed. While you're downloading the models, please leave the video running, watch the video, because that really helps the channel. And the models are gonna take a little while to download anyways, so you might as well watch the video and get up to speed on what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so this is how the model downloads work. So Comfy UI is our base folder. And then we have Comfy UI models, diffusion models. Okay, so you're gonna download each of these diffusion models and put them into your diffusion models folder. There's two versions of Quen Edit. One is for 50 series only. The other is for any other series. And for Crea, there's just one model that runs on any of them. I believe that this top one will also run on 50 series, but you're not getting the benefits of all the quantization if you're just using that one. Okay, and then Download the rest of the models. So the text encoders go into the text encoders folder. Uh, and the VAE goes into the VAE folder. Okay, so after you do all that, you should be good to go. If you don't see the models when you go to look for them, just click on the node and press R. It'll refresh the node and then you can go back and look at them or you can refresh the whole page as well. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure you have the correct model in your flux dit loader, and then also your Ninchaku text encoder loader, and then you should be good to run. So the first one we'll do is a realistic person, and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you if you wanna do, you know, anime or cartoon, how you would modify this to be able to handle that. All right, so right now my first prompt is a beautiful brunette woman wearing a white crop t-shirt showing her stomach. The reason I have this part in here is so that I get, I'm looking for like this specific um, shot. I don't want it to be a close up of her face, but I also don't want her whole body because I want enough detail of the face to be able to get likeness in the rest of the images that we generate. So you ideally have, want like a chest up photo to be able to create the data set. So let's run this. All right, so I don't love that one. We need a little bit more of her body in it. All right, that one's great. So we'll save that image and then go grab the Quen image edit Nunchaku and open that up. All right, so it looks pretty chaotic, but basically it's just a bunch of these blocks over and over. So we're going to drag our image into here. 
And then for your output file path, you want to make it your comfy Y output location. So mine is here. So just copy that path and paste it into your output file path and then name your character. So we'll call this character, I don't know, Amy. Okay, and then your image style should be, for this will be realistic detailed photography. You can also do anime or cartoon, 3D animation, whatever. But that'll just keep it consistent for, so that when we do the all the character generations, it will keep the style correct. Okay, and then the one annoying part about this workflow is that you need to make sure all of your models are correct in all of these Nunchaku, Nunchaku image edit nodes. So make sure you have the correct Quen image edit lightning model selected in all of these and the correct clip and VAE. So you'll have to go one by one. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good way to, to have these auto populated. That was intuitive. But once you do that, you'll be ready to run the workflow. So basically what this does is it takes your first picture, it runs a preset of prompts on them, and then it resizes them to 512 by 512 and puts them all in a folder called your character's name in your ComfyUI output folder with the captions that are gonna be needed for LoRa training. Okay, so let's just kick it off and then I'll show you if you don't like any of the images, how you can generate some new ones. And this whole workflow has been taking three to four minutes to run. So you get a whole character data set in three to four minutes, which is pretty incredible. All right, and then we are using Florence to caption everything. So you can see this is the caption that you get out. And then also in your output folder, in the characters folder, you'll also get that caption in a text file already. So you don't even have to create or go anywhere else to caption your images. So this is literally a fully ready data set at once this finishes running. And then I'll also, we can also modify images if you don't like any of them. So pretty awesome workflow. All right. So that was 229 seconds. So under four minutes to generate a complete data set that we can now train Allura on. Now, some of the pictures, I don't love how they came out. Some of these maintain her likeness really well. And then, and others, don't do a very good job you know this one doesn't really look anything like her so let's just try to change a few of these and let's get some better likeness i'm going to change this one so all you need to do to change if you want to change an image is change the seed to another random seed and i'm going to change this one when the expression of the person changes quen edit seems to struggle a bit right like it was a serious expression and now it like doesn't it doesn't really know what she looks like when she's smiling so it kind of just guesses this one i think is a little bit better and then so you'll just need to go in and remove the old image from the data set and you can keep the new one that one's slightly better although the it's a bit plasticky when it zooms out it struggles a little bit with maintaining realism okay so that is a character data set in under four minutes. Pretty cool. Now I want to show you, uh, so not like a realistic person. I want to use like an anime person. So let's say uh, anime man wearing a white t-shirt with stripes on it. All right. So this is the image we're going to give a shot here. And then for our style, just say an anime image and then run it. Oh, and then, sorry. And also we need to change our character's name. So we'll call this, I don't know, Brad. So you can see because my prompts used subject instead of saying like woman or something like that, it keeps the style of the, of the character. So whether you have a man, a woman, a monster, whatever style, it should maintain that style as long as you prompt for it here some of these might come out a little bit weird because <laughs> we have we have a man and you know it's a a yoga pose so and and light pink so the model tends to correlate those things with women so for when you do have a man you might have to change up some of these prompts slightly all right so we had a couple here that came out 
not really usable. Um, I'm gonna delete those two. Is the two workout sets set ones? They gave him a woman's body, so let's just readjust these a little bit. Um, so let's say wearing workout clothes was wearing purple workout clothing in a city park, and then we'll say it's wearing light fitting athletic clothes or light pink athletic clothes. All right, so we'll regenerate those two. I deleted the two I didn't like from the data set that was generated much better. So removing the tight fitting helped. Sometimes getting some tight fitting clothing can help like maintain the body type for when creating Allura. But in this case, it was maintaining the wrong body type. So it wasn't helpful. All right, and that one's decent. We might want to change the color to something more masculine like I don't know, like a dark blue so that it doesn't associate it as a woman. All right, and there you go. So there's our data set with all our captions ready to go for Laura training. So check this workflow out. If you like this workflow, follow my Patreon, subscribe on my Patreon. It really helps me out, it helps me get more content out to all of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for part two where we go through training a Laura on these two data sets. It's Probably more simple than you're expecting if you haven't done Laura training before. So I think that'll be a great video to go through. Join the Discord, great community there, always talking about the latest models that are coming out. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you again in the next one.